The band Iron Maiden has a documentary called Flight 666. But they're just joking around, right? They're being edgy. It's just rock and roll, man. But honestly, like people can do this nowadays and they've been doing it for a while. They can just put it out there and people go, nah, doesn't fa it doesn't phase them, right? Like hell is real and 666 is not a good thing. The world is biblical. It's really too bad and upsetting and uh, it's just something the way how, you know, how sold out the world is, is what I'm trying to say. Iron Maiden, famous metal band, Flight 666, they're just joking around, right? Bruce Dickinson is the lead singer. You can see on the drum kit back here, it's the Eye of Horus, the Eye in the Triangle, illuminated, right? This goes along with the third eye. This goes along, it's the Eye of Horus, the Eye of Ra. It has a couple different names. It's satanic, believe it or not. Bruce Dickinson is doing the Freemason Osiris Risen pose with his arms crossed there. He's on a magazine cover, darkening one of his eyes utterly. He's throwing up the devil horns, but it's just because he's rock and roll. Of course, right? Couldn't mean anything else in this biblical world. And it says here he's at John Lennon International Airport. You know John Lennon of the Beatles, right? He's a working class hero. Imagine there's no heaven, above us only sky. Yeah, okay says John Lennon, the guy that does one-eye symbolism and hides his hand in his coat the way a Freemason would do. But back to Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden. He's doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. He's doing it even more here. This is a gesture that's supposed to represent supreme enlightenment. It is not. It's the false light of Lucifer, and it's the pride of humanity to pose like this. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.